ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bellyman, and welcome back to Nightmare Harvest, a Shadow One Returns custom story. Which, this might be the last episode, I'm not so sure. So, where we left off, we had a bit of a glitch where Ken was apparently possessing me, and said he's going to kill me. Through my own body. Uh, obviously, we're still standing here, nothing's really happening. Um, so, yeah, let's move on. I'm going to go to this computer. Shamju Corporation Research Terminal. Two main. Uh, two, uh, 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 research logs. Okay, first entry. Okay. Dr. Gardner. A dragon. An actual dragon. I, I don't know how the chairman did it. And I'm not sure what I, uh, that I want to, but we have a dragon. Asleep and dreaming. Completely docile. Uh, the research opportunities are unprecedented. You can't stand in, this, stand in the same room as it without feeling the power coming off it. Reality seems to tremble when it's around. I must contact the Comanches at once. I'll need their help building some kind of Meiji Techno containment unit. Okay, second entry. Well, no sooner was the containment unit constructed than did the chairman demand we start using this incredible discovery for profit. I suppose it's to be expected, but BTLs? When was... When one has unrestricted access to the dreams of a god, using them to make drugs seems obscene. I agree. Third entry. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the Tanakas are thinking, edging the Comanches out of the BTL trade. We need their magical expertise to keep and maintain the containment unit. I don't even want to think about what would happen without them, but now I suppose that I have to. Fourth entry. Oh god, it's a long one. It's as ex it, it's as I expected. Without the Comanche support with the magical containment unit, our BTL batches have started to show signs of corruption. Nightmares, I hear them called. They drive people mad, turn them into killers. I sampled one of the earlier dreams, for research purposes only, of course, and it was very much unlike any experience I've ever had. An incredible cosmic feeling of power, but also of benevolence, of goodness. I believe it's the closest an ordinary person will ever come to feeling like a god. The afterglow lasted for weeks, and if the good dreams of being like this can induce that feeling, I shudder to think what ones, one of its bad ones could do. Mm. And the last entry. Incredible! The loss of one of the Comanche's expertise was a blow to the business but a boon to my understanding of this amazing creature. As the containment unit breaks down, it stirs in its sleep and it's able to exert some limited control over reality. The so-called Nightmare BTLs are just at the beginning. I, along with everyone else who works in the lab, have become increasingly prone to accidents and other strange occurrences. Yesterday, I was late for my shift because all of the doors and windows in my apartment so spontaneously sealed themselves shut. I had to bash my way out with a crowbar. Absolutely incredible. That is quite extraordinary. Let's look out of that. Uh, Dr. Gardner, let's go talk to you. Boop. I have one more thing I must ask of you. Those who travel with you are responsible for my captivity. They must die. Uh, I'm going to side with the dragon. I understand. Excellent. Sorry, Dash. I'm still bitter about you shooting me. <laughs> now nah, you captured a creature. You, you just can't do that, man. Alright, let's use all full auto on him. Like this, really? You are ready. Simply approach the console and deactivate my constraints. I will do the rest. Are you ready? Simply approach the console and deactivate my constraints. I will do the rest, okay? Okay. Okay, you stop talking to me, that's good. Uh, disable containment unit. Disabling. Disabled. Even as he speaks, you can see the light straining from his eyes. Thank you. Runner. Oh. Am I in the middle of a shoot? I think I'm in the middle of a gunfight. You emerge from the manhole to find exactly the guy you were looking for. You see a brown jacket or a fucking mohawk and you... Put a hole in it, understand? This is not a diplomatic mission, and get one of your guys tagging buildings as we make our way in. I want these bitches to know I'm here. Lone Star Sergeant. Yes, sir. I wouldn't worry about that, Garrett. Everyone here is definitely gonna hear this. What the? You're alive! 
and I'm pissed. <laughs> Look at you talking tough. You want to throw down with m you want to throw down with m with my my what? With my and my boys here? I think it's me and my boys here. As you well know, I have a certain fondness for cliché, so allow me to respond. You and what army, punk? If you get it, I don't need an army. <laughs> Let's see. Someone kill the fucking Shadow Runner! You can feel the dragon's magic coursing through your every cell. Reality itself looks soft and pliable. Think hard enough about it, and you can change it. Make it different, make it better, make it dangerous. <laughs> what? I thought I just got the powers of a dragon. Okay. So what does this mean? Have I just got dragon powers? Alright, let's see what's going on. Ah, okay. Chapter 7, High Noon. I found out the big secret, both the Comanches and the Yakuza were literally killing to keep a secret. The source of the Yakuza's holy fuck grade BTLs, and the reason no one could replicate the product, was a captive dragon. But even that wasn't the first thing on my mind. As I fought my way out of the secret tunnels beneath the town, all I could think about was the man who had put me down there, Shannon, or Garrett, whatever his name was. Specifically, all I could think about was his neck, and my hands tightening around it. And... Let's get right around that, shall we? Which one's Shannon? Is this Shannon? Ah, Officer Garrett. Marvellous. Full auto? Great. Arrgh! I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, this is not gonna go well, is it? Okay, they're missing a lot, which is cool. <laughs> oh my god! Oh dear lord. No, there is no way I can win against this. There is literally no way. Was that five action points I just see there? Alright. Ah! Okay, I've got five action points now. I can live with that. I don't know how well it's going to do me, but... There's just so many of them. Oh my lord. standing out in the open like this is probably not the best idea. Luckily they're missing me though. Well that one didn't. And they're hitting each other as well which is good. Ugh. I need to find some bloody cover. Yes. Let's go over there. Let's be awesome and go over there. Uh, first fire on Garrett. Fuck you, runner! Alright, let's reload that. And continue the onslaught. I got the guy I wanted, now the rest of the gaffers are on me. <laughs> oh my lord. I wish I had a bloody grenade. This would be perfect for a grenade. Oh wow. Okay, this is ridiculous. Seriously, if I can kill all these guys, I need to make deals with dragons more often. <laughs> well, I didn't exactly make a deal, did I? Uh, body strength. Yeah, let's have one of those. Why not? Make me tougher. Alright. Full auto, that lot. Arrgh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can see how this is gonna go. That guy behind me's gotta go next. 
I like how those just those trolls are just congregated around me, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that mage has got to go. Oh, so many coppers. Holy hell. There's just so many. Oh, I totally should have been a street samurai for this. Oof. Alright. Then you. Oh, okay. Not enough. Shooty, shooty. Okay. What about this? Okay, that works. Need to reload. Hmm. Maybe I should just use the burst fire. Nah, for loss is more fun, isn't it? <laughs> okay, they're starting to hit me now. This is not good. <laughs> that is so weird. Okay, full also on that bloke. And then that bloke. Arr! And then I want to do. Is a headshot that gives me critical damage, right? That bloke. <laughs> oh god, he got his own back. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm actually. Causing some serious havoc for these guys. That they are starting to hurt me though. Come on, don't die on me now. Doing so well. Okay. I do have a medikit. So let's use it. Wow, I have a lot of health. Uh you. Uh let's go back to the burst fire. Then you. Miss me. <laughs> They're literally just standing at my cover. This is bloody ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I need to reload. Right, get that dude behind me. And uh, who of you have more health? You. I think. Oh, excuse me. What is excitement? Oh. I can't believe it. I'm actually going to win this. I can't believe it. Have it. Pew! Yeah, you run away. I'm amazed these other guys haven't run away. I've just killed pretty much the entire platoon. You're next. And then I'll get you. And last one, you. Hit ya! <laughs> okay, apparently there's two guys left. Alright, let's go. Sprinty, sprinty. Shooty, shooty. Uh, damn it! Oh, I've got turrets here, okay. Hey, hey. Kaboom. <laughs> shooty, shooty. Right, let's reload. And do that one more shot. Oh, come on, it's nearly gone. Alright, let's go at Spectacular. Spray and pray. Woo! Right, is that it? Are they all gone? Reality rearranges itself to your will. Well, that's kind of cool. Right. Uh. Okay. I'll take that. Not that I'll probably can use it. This is probably the end. <laughs> I'll take it anyway. Dumpster is full of trash, it isn't dis distinguishable from the rest of the neighbourhood. That's true. Ah! There's more of them. Uh, I say from this distance we need to burst fire. Have it! The crackling fire, the rustling of trash in the wind, the scurrying of rats, 
All the sounds of the street coalesce into a voice. The dragon's voice. Thank you, runner. You're welcome. Well, let's get out of here. You approach the van. Looks like someone left the keys in ignition. Ready to go? Yes. Hey, that was it! That was it! Hey, we did it! I rescued a dragon and he's in my debt. Well, I say, in my debt. I rescued a dragon! I'm awesome! Oh, that last fight was great! Nightmare Harvest by Carl Francis. Contact info there. Afterword. Thanks for playing. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you didn't, you're kind of a weirdo for playing to the end anyway, but still, thanks. The story of this module was loosely inspired by two stories by Dashiell Hammett, Nightmare Town and Red Harvest, so you can see how clever I am at thinking up titles. If you liked this mod at all, or if you just sort of wished it had fewer dumb jokes everywhere, you owe it to yourself to read Hammett. I'd love to hear your feedback so you can hit me up at above. Be excellent to each other and party on dudes! Party on! <laughs> Alright, thank you very much Kyle. That was very, very entertaining. I had a feeling that was going to be the last episode for the series. And it was a bloody good story as well. Bloody good adventure. Oh. Now on to the next one. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this, please hit that like button. And remember, games are for having fun. Goodbye!